All right, so today we're looking at Precalculus 20, Section 8.2. This question comes in from my buddy Cade Faulkner at Campbell Collegiate there. Thanks, Cade, for bringing this question up. Um, this uh, right here is a system of equations. And we have a system, meaning there's more than one equation. And we're trying to solve. So we're trying to solve for what are the missing values for x and for y. Now, this is a quadratic. So this is going to be some kind of parabola. Uh, this one over here is linear. So this is going to be some kind of straight line. So we could have zero solutions. We could have one solution. Or we could have two solutions. That's that we know that at the beginning. So by substitution means that we're going to want to pick one of these variable terms and we're going to want to isolate the variable term. Now the y here is already all by itself. So I think that this would be a good one. This first equation would be a good one to manipulate a bit so that y is all by itself. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to rewrite this equation. Okay. Over here. And I'm going to put everything, I'm going to put, I'm going to leave y as being positive. I'm going to put everything else on the other side. So this is going to be y equals, I'm going to take this over, take this over. So y equals negative 2x squared um, plus 4x plus the 3 that was already over there. So we're just going to rearrange one question. We're going to send that over. Now, why is this important? Well, this, this equation's gone now. It's rearranged to this one. The y here is all by itself. And I know what y equals. It equals this business over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and because it's a system, whatever y equals, okay, in the in the one equation, it should equal the same in the other equation because we're looking for the intersection points where y is equal for both. So I'm going to put this expression into here. So this is y and the other one. And that's how we're going to mix them up in order to get a solution for this particular system. So we need to combine them. Okay? So we rewrite that like this. So it's going to be 4 times x minus 2 times, not y, but all this up here. So negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3, and then equals negative 7. So now I've, this is how I've taken two original equations and forced them into one equation with one variable. That's the important thing. I only have one variable here now. Now, it looks like we're probably going to have a quadratic. So we might have to use the quadratic formula to find our roots. Or if we could factor and use zero product principle at the end, that's, that's going to happen maybe too. But what we need to do is we need to expand and simplify, get all the like terms together, and let everything equal zero on the other side. So we're going to expand all this, which means that this negative 2 multiplies by each term in the brackets. So it's going to be plus 4x squared minus 8x minus 6 equals negative 7. I'm going to bring that negative 7 over, combine any like terms. So I'm going to have a 4x squared here. This x term and this x term, 4 minus 8 is minus 4x. And then I'm going to add 7. So negative 6 plus 7 over here is going to be plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully I'm not making any mistakes here just yet, but uh, uh, you have a quadratic now. And, uh, and then what you want to do is you want to solve for the x the way you would normally do with a quadratic. So if you can factor this, you could try and factor it. So by that, I mean, um, if we have, you know, integer roots, that's great. It might be, or, uh, you know, even just common fractions, it might be okay. Um, if we have radicals and stuff like that, it might be a little trickier. But uh, you can just factor this by sight, by intuition. Um, you might have to try a few things, but uh, let's try 2x here and 2x here. Now, is there any way that I can, uh, this has to, uh, product is 1, so it's got to be a 1 here and a 1 here. Is there any way I can put my signs so that they, these last terms multiply to positive 1, and then the other terms add to negative 4? Well, there is if I do this. Now, let's just give this a quick check. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x if you do the FOIL. So that's minus 4x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1. So that's what I see up here. So I factored this correctly. Okay. So that's great. This is going to be real easy um, because when I um, solve for my x, I have to let one or both of these, actually let both of them, but they're the same. So I'm just going to do one. I have to let that equal 0 because in order for this times this, to equal 0, 1 or both of them has to equal 0. So that's where we're going to look for our x values. So 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half. Okay, so it looks like x equals 1 half here uh, in this system. And now I need to simply find y. So 
we've already got y isolated over here so you could put x into here you could also put x into your original equations if you fear that you've made some mistake but um you know it shouldn't really matter so what is y when i put x equals one half in there negative two times one half squared plus four times one half plus three and so what does that equal well that's going to be one quarter times negative two that's going to be negative two over four or negative one half Four times one half is two. And so this is what we have. We have five, we have four and a half, right? Two plus three is five minus a half. That's four and a half or uh, what's that? Nine over two. So um, looks like we have X and Y uh, solved here. And our uh, solution would be X equals one half, Y equals nine over two, or maybe you want to write it as the intersection point, um, one half, nine over two. All right, so those values are confirmed. That is the, uh, the answer to that, solving by substitution.